നമസ്കാരം വിപുൽ ഷാ നിർമ്മിച്ച് സുദീപ് തോസൻ സംവിധാനം ചെയ്ത ദ കേരള സ്റ്റോറി എന്ന ചലച്ചിത്രം വലിയ വിവാദങ്ങൾക്കാണ് വഴി തുറന്നിട്ടുള്ളത് കേരളത്തിൽ നിന്ന് മൂന്ന് യുവതികൾ ഇസ്ലാം മതം സ്വീകരിച്ച് തീവ്രവാദത്തിലേക്ക് തിരിയുന്ന കഥയാണ് ചിത്രം പറയുന്നത് വെള്ളിയാഴ്ച ചിത്രം റിലീസിന് തയ്യാറെടുക്കുമ്പോൾ സംസ്ഥാനത്തെ സാമൂഹ്യ രാഷ്ട്രീയ നേതൃത്വം ഒരുപോലെ എതിർപ്പുമായി രംഗത്ത് വരികയാണ് ഈ സാഹചര്യത്തിൽ ചിത്രത്തിന്റെ നിർമ്മാതാവ് വിപുൽ ഷായും സംവിധായകൻ സുദീപ് തോസെന്നും ന്യൂസ് എയ്റ്റീനോട് മനസ്സ് തുറക്കുന്നു വിപുൽജി ഇറ്റ്സ് എ പ്ലഷർ ടു ഹാവ് യു ടുഡേ വിത്ത് അസ് വെൽക്കം ടു ദിസ് സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഷോ ഓൺ ദ കേരള സ്റ്റോറി ദി പൊളിറ്റിക്കൽ ആൻഡ് കൾച്ചറൽ ഓർഗനൈസേഷൻസ് ദ റിപ്രസെന്റ് മുസ്ലിം സെന്റിമെന്റ്സ് ഇൻ കേരള ആർ അപ് ഇൻ ദിയർ ആംസ് ടു അപ്പോസ് ദ മൂവി മെനി ഓഫ് ദം ആർ ഈവൻ പ്ലാനിങ് എ ലീഗൽ ബാറ്റിൽ ടു ഗെറ്റ് ദി മൂവി ബാൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഗോസ് വിത്തൌട്ട് ഡൌട്ട് that the movie has incurred the wrath of a big section of people in kerala how are you going to deal with that uh first and foremost i want to tell every muslim or every organization uh that they are making assumptions looking at a trailer or whatever they have heard in the media or whatever great pines i will request them to see the film and after see the seeing the film if they feel that the film is objectionable or is hurting their sentiment or or is it it is wrong in any manner uh they can definitely uh, take the legal route they can file a case on us but i can assure them that a the film is not against muslims the film is not against any religion uh the film is against terrorism and after watching this film they will not find it objectionable at all uh but they have not seen the film so i can understand that there are lots of questions in their mind i would request them to watch the film on the 5th and then they can definitely uh, you know question us if we have done anything wrong what critics have inferred from the trailer is that the movie is painting islam in bad light was it your intention to defame any community or section of kerala's population do you think that the movie has stirred up a honest nest see uh, i'll tell you something that we are not saying that every muslim is involved in this every muslim of kerala but can they say that there is not a single muslim in kerala who is involved in this so what will you uh, you know when we portray say gabbar singh so gabbar singh also has a religion right gabbar singh was a hindu uh, every hindu can't think that oh they are showing hindus in bad light so that's the same logic that applies here there are few people who are doing this uh, manipulative conversion in kerala because the film deals with the story of three girls all three of them were manipulated for conversion and we know what all happened to all of them so this film is about them and this did happen to them so it is not against the community it is against those perpetrators who did this to these girls and this story needs to be told because it's a very big human tragedy but that doesn't mean that just because we are saying that these muslim a group of muslim did whatever they did uh, so entire muslim community is wrong that's not our stand at all neither are we saying that kerala is bad it's like saying that shoot out at lokhandwala was made as a film where look in lokhandwala in broad daylight criminals were killed so will that mean that we were uh, that film maker was trying to defame lokhandwala there is another film called mumbai saga which is about the criminal world of mumbai the underworld of mumbai will that be termed as a film which is defaming bombay because this story happened with these three girls in kerala so the film is called kerala story actually this problem is nationwide it's not about kerala it's about the whole country but because the story belongs to kerala this particular story that's why it's being called kerala story so neither are we trying to defame kerala we all love kerala we visited kerala we enjoy our holidays in kerala it's heaven on earth it's god's own country and we believe that neither that or nor we are trying to defame any religion or any community you can take our word for that and let the film release and you will agree with us why did you think that the story has to be told see the problem is that 
when I heard the story, I realized that there are so many girls who are getting trapped into this manipulative conversion trap. If somebody loves somebody, a Hindu girl loves a Muslim boy, she gets married, they both are happy. Nobody can have a problem against that. And we are nobody to say anything to that individual freedom. But when somebody is converted uh, by the lure of love, then that becomes a problem. And, and what happened to those girls, these three girls' lives, that was very, very painful. That was extremely sad. And so I decided that this story must be told. This story needs to reach people. And uh, this has to stop. And I'm sure there are a handful of people only who are involved in this. And, and maybe for whatever reason, government has not taken action against them. Maybe after this film, there will be enough reason for them to at least investigate, if not action. And then we'll see. You claim that 32,000 women are victims of conversion for terrorism. How do you substantiate the fact? Who calculated the number? See, uh, it is extremely sad that when we are talking about a human tragedy, some people are saying, oh, why have you taken this number? What happens if this number is not 32,000 and say 31,000 or 28,000? Will that make this tragedy any less? We have to look at with compassion at the human tragedy, the lives of these girls. That should be our focus. Our focus should not be about the number. And let me also assure you, anybody who will see the film will find all answers to all their questions. Uh, what preparations had been taken for making such a movie? Did you meet any of the victims or their families? How was the casting process? Uh, this was a very difficult film to make. This was very challenging because uh, A, when we did the research, we met so many girls who were who were the victims of manipulative conversion. We have testimonies of all those girls on video. So it's the film is not just, I mean, the film is about these three girls, but to write the story of these three girls, we must have met more than 100 girls. In fact, my director must have met even more than that. So, uh, so, 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 to understand what they went through and then to make a story which is not a judgmental story but a true story and a very honest account of what these girls went through was a very, very, very challenging and very delicate uh, work to write. And after that, when we were casting, no artist was ready to work because they were literally scared that if they acted in this film, their careers and their lives will be under threat. Uh, so that is the kind of environment of fear was there. So casting was a very, very big challenge. And uh, then when we wanted to shoot, no line producer was ready to work with us in Kerala and Mangalore. So we had to manage everything without line producer there. We somehow managed to shoot the film. So it's been a, a challenge. But at the end of the day, we were determined to tell this story. And I think uh, we are very happy with the outcome. And I think when everybody who is against the film also will see the film, they will feel that we've done something really, really important. On social media, the movie is discussed with the hashtag Save Our Daughters. Do you intend to initiate a campaign along with the movie? I think that it is very important that uh, uh, in our country, not a single girl should be manipulated into converting herself. And... Uh, uh, and I think that uh, if Save Our Daughters is something that people take seriously, I think the film would have done a great job. The former Chief Minister of Kerala, V.S. Ajudanandan, sometime in 2010, have stated that Kerala would become a Muslim majority state in two decades. Is it true that statements of this sort have inspired you in initiating a project like this? Uh, since this statement was made by the Honorable Chief Minister of the state, uh, that was one of the very important factor when we were doing our research. Uh, of course, that has nothing to do with the film. But uh, if a minister, chief minister of the state is saying something so, uh, so openly and loudly, that automatically becomes a very, very important point. We can't ignore it. So that went into, uh, that went, I mean, that in a way triggered us to kind of work on this film. 
the trailer of the movie that was released few days back had been disturbing do you think that the trailer of the movie was a reason for inviting criticism see a two and a half minute trailer can sometime create some fear if 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 you are trying to see it from that point of view when we were making the trailer we were trying to make a honest trailer to give a real impression of what the film is and uh, again i am repeating that the film is not against any community or any religion uh, uh, so uh, even if somebody has felt looking at the trailer that oh it's not giving me the right picture and i'm thinking maybe the film is going to really you know uh, create some kind of hate against us i can assure you you can go and see the film there is not one word against the community i can assure you that did you anticipate protest of this sort against the movie and did you expect that you would have to fight a legal battle going forward even if people don't want to react sometimes political parties react to such content and then that becomes in a way kind of a debated and discussed point uh, we had anticipated some political reaction uh, to be very honest we are not surprised with some of the reactions and again to all those political parties also i would like to request that first see the film and if you have any complaints after the film we can have a debate about it and we can clarify every single point of the film but they will have none that's our belief anyway thank you so much vibul ji for joining us on this special show and it was a pleasure to have you here yeah thank you ipol namukappam ഈ ചിത്രത്തിന്റെ സംവിധായകൻ സുദീപ് തോസൻ കൂടി ചേരുന്നു ഹലോ സുദീപ് തോസൻ വെൽക്കം ടു ദസ് ഷോ യു ഹാവ് സെറ്റ് അസൈഡ് മെനി ഓഫ് യുവർ റെസ്പോൺസിബിലിറ്റീസ് ടു ഡേറ്റ് ജോയിൻ അസ് ഓൺ ദ സ്പെഷ്യൽ ഒക്കേഷൻ താങ്ക് യു സോ മച്ച് ഫോർ ഹാവിങ് മീ ഹിയർ സുദീപ് തോ ആഫ്റ്റർ ദി റിലീസ് ഓഫ് ദി ട്രൈലർ എ സെക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് കേരള ഹാവ് കം ഇൻ അപ്രിസിയേഷൻ ബട്ട് ദി മെജോറിറ്റി ആർ ഇൻ ഓപ്പോസിഷൻ യെസ് ദിസ് മൂവി പ്രൊപ്പഗേറ്റിംഗ് ഇസ്ലാമഫോബിയ ആർ യു അഗെയിൻ അസേർട്ടിംഗ് ലവ് ജിഹാദ് that had been outrightly rejected by all investigating agencies sir uh, sir number 1 uh, as you said as you put up the way that uh, the, it has been appreciated by uh, a section of people and criticized by other section of people and uh, my answer is both of them did not see the film a and you know it is it is a general practice of us that we pick up a particular narrative and we do it we, we forget about logic we forget about our 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 understanding our sensibility we pre- like to we like to see things the way we want like to hear which we want to hear even if i say that it has it has nothing to do with islamophobia it is nothing to do with any religious uh, uh, this thing uh, uh why should i talk about islamic islamophobia we spoke about the st- uh, three stories of three girls nothing beyond nothing more nothing less one girl who is right now in afghanistan jail one girl who committed suicide her parents are right now waiting for the justice and another girl who has been a rape victim and she is into hibernation because she is seeking her justice you tell me telling the story of these three girls how come it become a islamophobic and our film definitely mention about terrorism because the recruitment of 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 the trafficking and the recruitment of girls into isis into al qaeda uh, boko haram areas it is not an indian phenomena it is it is uh, uh, uh it is happening from europe it is happening in america from uh, australia from new zealand and india is also not out of it so having said that we spoke about uh, terrorism so terrorist does not from when you uh, started thinking the terrorist has a religion terrorist the terrorist that is the argument all all through the year is happening the terror has no no religion so we are also saying that you are saying that the perpetrator of the women of kerala uh, uh, we try to expose them and try to tell the story of three girls nothing beyond nothing more nothing less the movie have created fear among the muslim community 
The others feel that the communal harmony of the state would be affected by disturbing the social fabric of Kerala. What do you think about that? Uh, uh, sir, uh, yeah, don't you think, don't you think that uh, 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 tying up uh, the, the act of terrorism with a particular religion is wrong? We spoke about the terrorist, spoke about the terrorist who, who has, who are the perpetrator of these girls. The, 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 uh, the girls from Kerala in a large scale being converted and manipulated and many of them are now, they, they, they don't have the trace. Even, even at the floor of uh, Kerala Assembly, it has been accepted by the then Chief Minister that, that it is happening. So, the point is, the moment I start talking about anti-India, anti-Indian people are trying to destabilize the country exactly the way they are trying to do it in Europe, exactly the way they are trying to do it in America, exactly the way they are trying to do it. When I, The moment I start talking about uh, terrorism, why you bring the question of religion? That I don't understand. We didn't, uh, at least as far as my cinema, my film is concerned, we never uttered the word of any, about any religion that I can assure you. So that is what I'm saying, that if you don't have any personal agenda, please watch the film and then you decide that it is whether it is an Islamophobic film, Hindu-phobic film. I have nothing to do with any religion. I am trapped. My producer was in tears when I told the, told the story of my film, that the, the story of these three girls. Nobody is talking about how the girls are suffering. And I am so feel so bad that in today's media also, they are concerned about uh, 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 the jingoism, religious jingoism. They are concerned about Hindu-Muslim. Please, please have the discussion on the girls. The girl... Her mother, who is right now in, in an Afghanistan jail, her mother, you know, her, her tears have been dried. The girl who committed suicide, her go and see their mother. Nobody bothered to go to Kerala and find out the truth of the story. They are happy, you know, with their Twitter and, and, and social media narrative. I am not part of that. I am a filmmaker. I am, I am extremely I was extremely disturbed with the stories so I looked I did seven years of my research and I, I repeat seven years of research and I can my my producer who is kind enough to come come, come ahead and uh, produce the film so we have an extremely clear agenda to make a good film beautiful film tell the story of the girls of these three in my film three girls who have gone through this ordeal. Sudipto, can you tell us how challenging was the movie making? Sir, it was it was extremely difficult. As I said, that in, I started I working on it in 2014. And uh, issue was that I, even 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 in one of one of our trip, I used to go to Kerala. I used to travel in the villages. You know, Kerala has two Kerala exist. One is the Kerala, which is from. Uh, 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 Kochi to Trivandrum and further south, it is a uh, tourism paradise. It is, it is, you know, loved by uh, whole world. But people hardly talk about the Kerala, which is in the northern part. So, so uh, the point is, uh, I travelled all these areas and uh, went to villages. It was very difficult. Uh, even our our hotel room was been, the hotel we were in Kannur. It's been attacked. And uh, in the middle of the night, we are asked to leave the place within uh, a few couple of hours. So we we uh, we ran away from the hotel. After walking almost three and a half kilometer, we crossed the border of Kannur, and uh, the police from the bordering district uh, they rescued us. So this kind of things happen, and we we consider it as a professional hazard. So we often face this kind of situation. <clears throat> and uh, yes, uh, that time I don't, I didn't have any any financial support. So I uh, I used to work in Bombay. I used to uh, uh, you know save some money, go back to Kerala. Then at a point of time in 2018, I made a documentary film called In the Name of Love, Melancholy of God's Own Country. That film got 
best film award in london international film festival and then i decided to make a feature film so i made uh, bipul shah you know uh, it was very difficult to find an investor uh, in, in 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 the film like this but i am so happy my producer was extremely emotional when he come to know about the story then again another one one and half years of uh, uh, you know scripting work uh, went on and then finally we emerged out of the script and made the film one argument raised by the political leaders is that the movie is tailored to suit the bjp ideology do you think that the movie would help giving the sang parivar an edge in realizing their organizational agenda yes, sir sir i am a filmmaker and i i i don't understand the language of politics i only know i only know that the girls are suffering whether it is uh, 1700 171897 or 21432 or 32000 or 50000 i don't care about the number my concern is the girls are suffering so i made a film as a filmmaker you asked me the question of on, on the script uh, 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 see the film ask me the question on the script the technical techni technicalities of the cinema i will be able to answer i don't sir trust me i have no idea why uh, what uh, congress what bjp what uh, uh, muslim league and what they are doing it is they do their politics it is their profession they do their convenience without watching the film if you comment on a comment on that what more sad could happen see the film then start the debate we are a democratic country it is an argumentative society so let us debate first to to do the debate we first first thing you have to do is you have to watch the film so to be precise you are telling me kerala need not worry about the content of the movie the malayalis should criticize it if at all they want after watching the movie absolutely sir thank you so much that you 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 help me to uh, write it put the word to uh, for, uh, in my lips that yes my dear keralites my dear uh, malayalam malayali speaking friends please watch the film and if there is any any argument you have any discussion you have we will be i am here in the film industry for more than 25 years so we are not going going to go anywhere we will debate we will discuss about the film if we have made any mistake mistake happens if you do something then only you commit mistake if you don't do anything you don't don't commit mistake so polit let politician do their work if 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 everything was would have been nice then it, the terrorism would have been finished from this country so the matter of fact is please watch the film we let's enjoy uh, 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 it's i don't think it will be very enjoyable because it's a sad story it is a devastating story of these three girls and uh, i have put together with my producer all the proof all the all the uh, 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 things the data as information we used every word spoken in the film every scene shown in the film are been supported by document our cinema our film was stuck in censor board for two months and finally we got the censor certificate so we are sure that uh, it is all proof you know sudip to thank you so much for joining with us and sharing your ideas related to this movie thank you so much thank you so much Thank you.